This episode of Hunting with Hathaway is brought to you in part by Tacticam. Deer down, old son. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know it's just getting daylight in this uh, shooting house. I ain't been here 30 minutes, but we got a doe down. So I heard her throw a wreck right over on the edge of the field. I shot her at uh, 30 yards with my buddy Dennis's, <clears throat> well, I think it's a Parker crossbow. It's uh, the first deer I ever killed with a crossbow. So we still on the do thin and mission down here or up here in Butler County with him trying to thin all these does out and uh we got us one down first thing ain't been here 30 minutes that's all we came for not hunting for a buck so I'll probably get down pretty quick or be a killer blood trail Dennis shoots these vortex Two and a, I think it's two and a half inch cut in diameter. Whew. I can see the blood pouring out of that old gal when she left the field. Looked like a good hit right behind the shoulder. I may be wrong. I had to look at the look at the footage or look at the deer when we get it. Well, I shot that deer at six o'clock. It's six thirty now. The deer. I can't see the deer, but I'm pretty sure it fell right off the edge of the field. So, let's walk out here. I want to look at the blood trail, make sure the arrow didn't fall out on the, or the bolt didn't fall out on the, uh, on the trail she ran. So, let's see what, if that vortex made a good blood trail for us. Y'all can see where I walked out here. I can see where she walked. She was standing right in this area right here. And she made a loop 
out this way. Yeah. There's blood coming out of her. Pretty good. Y'all probably can't see it, but I can see a good trail of blood. Old gal was pumping. Mm -mm. We made it to the woods. A lot of blood coming down in here. She's falling down. I ain't spotted her yet. Crossbow bolt. I got her in the heart though. Well, meat for the freezer, son. A beauty indeed. We, uh, I'm glad to get the year started for me. Fawn, she's going to Disney World. It's, uh, it's youth weekend this weekend. So I don't have a, a youth of my own I can take hunting. So come out here to Dennis's, me and him going to try to get two does this weekend. Fill the freezer up at the beginning of the season and hunt for bucks at the, towards the end of the season when, when our rut kicks in. But uh, I'm going to have to go back, retrace her track and try to find this bolt. But uh, proud to get this old gal. I appreciate every one of you. If you're watching this far, I appreciate every one of you watching. We're going to kill something this year. If it ain't nothing but hogs, we're getting to eat up with hogs on our Crenshaw lease. So we'll see how that works out. And for any of y'all who saw that yearling with this doe and has that, oh, you shouldn't have shot her. She had a yearling. This deer was legal. And if that yearling can't make it on its own, Alabama needs to change its game laws. Because as long as it's legal to take these old fat things, how are we going to put air through them? Or a bullet or whatever, when we're going to eat. Especially when we need the meat. My freezer quit this past summer, and I lost probably 75 pounds of processed deer meat. So we're rebuilding. Appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll see y'all next time. To those of you who care, I found a crossbow bolt. About half of it broke off in her, I reckon. Ruined the bolt, but depending on how hard it hit that offside shoulder, probably it might be good, it's still in her. <laughs>